Starting and growing your business doesn't have to be difficult. It's all about creating the right plan, foundation, processes, procedures, and having the right mindset. Welcome to the CEO Hustler Show, the podcast dedicated to help you start, grow, and decipher your entrepreneur interpreting and translation business. I am your host, Fabiola Valencia. I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years and started my business from the ground up, but also turned it into a six-figure business in under three months. And together, you and I, we are going to get your business on the right track so that you can enjoy the journey, but also earn your worth and get the right plan in motion. So let's get ready to boss up and rise, starting now. Hey there, hustlers. Welcome back to another episode in the CEO Hustler Show. Today, we are going to talk about sales and marketing. Many of you are struggling into starting, growing, and even launching your business. Many of you are struggling with implementing a process or creating that plan for your business so that you can start growing your business, if that makes sense. So today I want to discuss with you in regards to what you need in order for you to plan your business the right way so that you can get the right clients. So for example, myself as an interpreter, translator, business coach, I am going to focus right now on interpreting and translation. When I first started my business, we basically have that mindset where we kind of get into that desperation mode, right? We spend money or we invested a lot of time and we just need to start bringing in clients into the door. But we really don't have a plan to decipher or to really know and understand which ones are the right customers. Do you agree? So when I first started my business, Basically, my doors were open to anyone and everyone who needed a Spanish interpreter slash translator. Now, early on, as I went along, um, you know, one of the things that I started to realize is like, even though I have the capabilities, the terminology, and I have the background to be able to service all of the clients, um, I decided that, you know what, I needed to focus on a market a market that was going to work specifically for myself. So for example, our businesses, or I should say our services as a bilingual interpreter are needed in all business sectors. So I was getting clients in the legal, medical, hospital, depositions, investigators, the whole nine yards. But early on, I realized that, you know what, even though I enjoy doing medical, I realized that that wasn't a market that I really wanted to focus on um, for the simple fact that certain things happen as a mother, as a wife. Stepping into the hospital was very uh, a traumatic moment for me. So I realized that, you know what, as much as I want to help and service that sector, it wasn't going to be for me. So then basically I created the sales and marketing plan for my business where I was focusing more in the areas that were going to work for me, that were going to make me happy, where I was going to be able to step in and like, you know, kind of like when I said before, you know, you want to go, you want to have a job where you're going to be happy and motivated to walk in, to get up and, you know, step into your office or step into that uh, business. The same thing with um, interpreting. You know, you want to find that business sector that's going to make you happy, that's going to fulfill you as an interpreter. So then by focusing on certain areas, certain markets, it helped me uh, really decipher and focus on those markets. Now, the other thing, too, is that for medical interpreting, it requires a lot of consecutive interpreting, although I know how to do it. It wasn't my number one choice. I love to do simultaneous and conference interpretation. Therefore, I basically created my sales and marketing plan to focus on that market on, you know, certain business sectors that needed the services of a simultaneous and conference interpreter versus, you know, 
kind of dreading every single time I picked up the phone in receiving, oh, okay, I need a medical interpreter. Even though I could do it, it wasn't something that I really wanted to focus into. Now, the other thing too with translations, you know, you want to focus on the markets that you are able to service. So for example, again, medical translation is very technical. It's very, um, to me, it's not an area that I like to service. I can, but I really prefer doing, for example, brochures, more on the sales and marketing aspect, um, localization, websites, uh, more branding, um, you know, just basic non-technical documents. So then again, I incorporated that into my plan. Now, the other thing, too, to consider for those of you that are not certified interpreters, you want to make sure that you are clear when you are marketing yourself and ensuring that the client understands and knows, one, your skills, your qualifications, and your experience, and two, letting them know um, that although you are not a certified interpreter, you are qualified to provide the services where a certification is not needed. And I think many of you guys are struggling with that aspect, correct? Now, before setting off to sell your services, again, you have to be able to identify that market, the clientele that you are going to be servicing. In my Marketing Like a Boss for Entrepreneurs, I touch base and we really dive in into deciphering the market that you want to service and why structuring your rates, structuring your process, your terms, your conditions, because those key components are super, super important. But also, one of the things that many of you fail to do is a market research. Yes, many of you fail to do that competitor's market and research to see what your competition is like so that one, you know, you always want to be in the middle. You don't want to start off too low and you don't want to start off too high where you're basically scaring clients away, but you want to be in the middle, especially when you're first starting out. So to doing that uh, SWOT analysis is super important for your business understanding your competitors, understanding what they're offering and how you can better package your services so that you can market to the right clients. So once you get into the whole, you know, uh, planning and structuring of your marketing plan, then comes the sales approach. So that's another topic. And if you enjoy this podcast, please make sure that you like it, you share it, let me know in the comments or um, send me an email, please. Um, Let me know, you know, where you're struggling, what challenges you're having, and if my podcasts are actually helping you in any way, shape, or form. Because at the end of the day, sharing is caring. And it's important to me to know where you're at in your business, where you're struggling, so that I can provide you with relevant, important podcasts, information, tips to help you grow your business. So if these marketing tips have helped you, I want to also invite you, I'm going to go ahead and add the link here on this podcast so that you can download your Hustler business plan. And if you are interested in learning more and really diving in and creating your marketing plan, then I invite you to join me on the Marketing Like a Boss for Entrepreneurs. And let's get ready to boss up and rise and take your business to the next level. Have an amazing day.